this is Craig Fear with Fearless Eating. I am the author of Fearless Broths and Soups. And today is video number three in a series of videos that I'm doing where I am demoing some of the soup recipes from my book. So I am really excited about this one today because this is one of my absolute favorites. This is an Asian beef noodle soup, which comes from the Asian noodle soup uh, chapter in my book. And I've got everything set up over here on the stovetop. So let me take you over here and show you how we make this recipe. So these are the veggies that we're going to be using. So we got ginger, garlic, mushrooms. Now these are a special type of mushroom that I, uh, that I have, but use any type of mushroom you want. Shiitake is great. Uh, this is a whole red pepper and I chopped up a whole bok choy. And this of course is the beef broth we're going to use. Those are the veggies and let me show you now the order in which um, I put these together in the soup and how it all comes together. Okay, so step one. Uh, I got the mushroom, the ginger and the garlic sauteing in sesame oil. Uh, if this wasn't such a thick kind of meaty mushroom, I'd probably add the mushrooms in a little bit uh, later with the, with the red pepper and the bok choy. But in this case, this is a special type of mushroom so I'm adding it with the ginger and the garlic. Sauteing it for five minutes, getting the flavors out of them. And now step two, I'm gonna add in the broth. All right, so now the beef broth. I use about uh, two quarts of broth. I really fill this pot up. I like to make, again, larger quantities of this that I can freeze later or just reuse it throughout the week. And I'm gonna turn the heat up and bring this to a boil. So this will take a few minutes to get it up to a boil. All right, my nice beef broth. Oh, there we go, nice. All right, so that's step two. Add in the broth, bring it to a boil. And then step three is just gonna be adding in the red pepper and the bok choy. And then, um, and then we'll do the noodles and the beef as well. All right, so as the broth is now coming to a boil, I'm waiting for it to boil up, I'm getting the beef ready and the noodles. So right here, I'm getting a pot of water boiling for the noodles. And I'll show you the noodles real quick. These are soba noodles. Uh, these are a really nice kind of nutty tasting noodle goes really well in this recipe You can use any type of noodle you want udon noodles are very popular as well And now for the beef. This is a rib steak now. I usually don't use a rib steak It's a really thick cut of meat very tender You can use any type of meat that you want a really good type of meat to use is a flank steak um, It'll cook up a little quicker um, You can cut into nice thin strips um, and that's what we're going to do with this with this beef. We're going to saute it just a few minutes per side and then um, We're going to cut it across the grain to thin strips and then it'll cook up a little bit more as we pour the hot broth over it also, I forgot to add the uh, soy sauce and um, I Kind of just know what I like. I won't go too crazy with it That's about right I can you can always flavor it up later. All right, so we got the broth boiling and I'm gonna add in my red peppers. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to add in some of the stalks more than the greens from the bok choy. And I'll add, the, the greens will kinda, of, they'll wilt pretty quickly. But I like to add them at the end. I don't wanna overcook them. And that's just gonna simmer for maybe five minutes. Again, all those flavors are, ginger and the garlic especially, are infusing into that, into that nice beef broth. All right, I think we're ready to flip the steak here. So the broth is simmering, almost done. The, noodle, uh, the noodles, soba noodles are ready to go. All I'm doing, the last step is really just to uh, cut the beef into kind of thin strips and um, that we're just gonna kind of add right into. So really make them thin, so it's kind of raw in the middle. This isn't the ideal cut of meat for this, but again, it doesn't matter. Use whatever, you know, I had it, I wanted to use it. It's a little bit of a fattier cut. You know, little strips, and then it's going to cook. You know, it's kind of raw, but it's, when we spoon the hot broth over it, it's going to continue to cook. All right, so we're done. And now it's just adding it all together. So this is how you do it. You take a handful of the soba noodles. Now I highly recommend, this is kind of key, adding just a little dollop of um, sesame oil. It's just, it makes it, really brings out an additional nutty flavor. And then just a, like a teaspoon, I mix it in to the 
soba noodles. Then I add my beef on top, like so. Again, it's really raw, but this, you know, this uh, broth is fresh off the stove. It's steaming hot, and so and now you just scoop it right over. And then I'll taste it, and I'll flavor it up uh, with more soy sauce if I need it. Looks great, smells great. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> so good. Mm. So we got the ginger, the garlic, the soy sauce, and the beef broth. That's just a classic Asian combination. Um, all those flavors really come out uh, with a little sesame oil, uh, the nuttiness of the sesame oil, plus the soba noodles. It's just fantastic. Uh, you can use any veggies you want in this. I always like bok choy and red pepper. Feel free to improvise. Uh, throw in some kale, some carrots, whatever you want to throw in there. Um, but you really can't go wrong with ginger, garlic, soy sauce, and beef broth. That's where the magic happens. Um, and so that's how to make a really simple, fantastic Asian beef noodle soup. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm, I'm going to eat now. Oh, yeah.